All right, fellas, we got um, the, the future of Charlotte 49ers basketball in the car with me now. These are the guys going to turn around your program, Ron Sanchez. All right. <laughs> I got Caleb Ca Stone Carewell. Yes, I gotta say Stone Carewell. And right. in the back, I got Bryce Williams. Both have famous dads. I'm on my parking brake. Bryce Williams' is dad, Henry Williams, is probably, in my opinion, the best player. No offense, Byron Dinkins, anybody else in Charlotte basketball right. history. And um, Caleb's dad played at Duke and is an assistant coach at Duke now. Yes, sir. And your your teammate is going to Duke, so I'm sure you saw your dad on campus back right, yeah. <laughs> then. What was yeah. that like? <laughs> yeah, it, it was cool. I, mean, I, I, I ain't really been to uh, the Duke campus in a minute, yeah. but um, I used to go there a lot, but now it's kind of, I don't really go there too much now. But. Was that a weird recruiting process, though? He was coming here, your dad, right. your teammate. What was that like? Um, no, nah, it wasn't really weird. You know? right. Oh, right, right, right. Um, no, nah, it wasn't weird, no, nah, because I mean, you know, my dad didn't, didn't talk to me about him or nothing like that. Right. Yeah, so. No, I'm not saying, I'm not looking for any NCAA right. violations. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, like, yeah, yeah, I'm just saying. my pop, they go and see my boy. Right, yeah, it was it was cool because, you know, like, you know, like, that's my, you know, one of my best friends. And, yeah. yeah. That's my dad. It was cool, though. It was kind of cool. Tell me, um, Bryce, you know, I know you lost your father last year, but, you know, how badly do you want to go to Charlotte and kind of, you know, make people remember that name? Um, not really any more than I already did. You know, when I talked to my dad, he was always like, I don't care where you go, mm -hmm. as long as it's the best situation for you. But personally, I always told him I'd beat his records. You know, <laughs> Those some big records there, man. I was just like, now I just gotta live it out. Right. You two are like two of the fastest rising dudes, like, in my opinion, in North Carolina. Like a couple years ago, I never would thought would have thought that you would be the player you are. Right. And you, I mean, you just exploded last year. You led your team to uh, Adidas championship and were the man and averaging twenty some points a game. I and mean, where did all this come first, Bryce? Where did all this improvement come from so quickly? And how did it happen? Well, I always had it. Just confidence levels for me. Mm -hmm. Confidence levels for me. And um, that whole April period. That whole June, July period, yeah. I was in the gym outside every day and really like committed. So I guess he just, the God giving me some payback. Yeah. Payback? <laughs> Not payback, but uh, <laughs> they just uh, rewarded me. Yeah. Being committed. So it didn't surprise you how, you know, the, the summer that you had and the season you passed so far? I've done it all before and just need consistency and confidence. What about you, Kayla? How'd you get there? How'd you get to where you are right now? Uh, for me, I just, I, 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 I knew I always had a, uh, a real good work ethic. Mm -hmm. For me, like, I just always wanted to stay in the gym. Because, you know, I, I know my work ethic is, like, real high. Yeah. So, for me, I just always wanted to just keep working and just keep getting better. Because I knew something had to give. Was it hard for you, though, because you played with Leaky Black in Carolina. You played with Wendell. Yeah. Do, that you all, you know, the third wheel. Right. Was it kind of hard to really uh, do your thing when so right. much attention was on them? Uh, no, not really. I don't really focus on like that type of stuff. Like mm -hmm. that last year, when a lot of people used to ask me that. I ain't never really focused on that type of stuff. I just really focused on my development. Right. You know, trying to help the team win. Um, but for me, nah, I ain't. Really, I ain't even look at it like that. So I, I just always, you know, just stayed in my lane and just kept working. And Bryce, tell me about what's going to happen in Charlotte because they need they need talent. They need scoring. They need to win. And, and they're bringing in, in my opinion, two dudes who certainly help them do that. I mean, you guys should, might, should be all conference players year two at the, at the latest. Right. Um, I feel like the recruiting class we have coming in, I don't necessarily, I don't know, know the names, mm -hmm. but the point guard that goes to DeMatha and mm -hmm. the big man from New Zealand, I think. Yeah. Um, I feel like we're all going to come together. I mean, we can all, we can all score the ball. Caleb can score the ball. I can score the ball, but we're gonna be a real diverse team, and like they needed, they needed some under the radar talent, and I mean they're gonna get it. We can all score the ball. Y'all gonna be under the radar together. long, right? <laughs> we just gotta learn how to play together. But I, I know y'all. With all the talent and shooting and athleticism, I mean, there's no reason why we shouldn't be top in the league right. and going far. And you're bringing in two six foot seven, six foot eight wing guys that can both shoot it, dribble it, yeah. and pass it. That's uh, pretty good. Right. Did, did you guys know each other? 
how, how, how long have you known each other? How did you know each other? Since Team Lotus. Yeah. You've seen you? Yeah, 10th grade. Since 10th grade. Okay. Oh, so y'all played together? Something? Yeah, we played yeah. together. Okay. Yeah, for sure. And did, did you ever talk about going to school together? Did that just happen? Uh, it was, at the time, not in 10th grade. No, not really yeah. in 10th grade. We didn't really talk about it like that. It was late in the recruiting process. Yeah, yeah, it was late. Yeah. Where he was, he was texting me, he was like, you know, I think I, I, think I want to go to Charlotte. Yeah. And I was like, hey, that's that what you want to do. All right. I was like, I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do yet. Yeah. And then when I figured out, I wanted to go out Texas. Yeah. Oh, so neither one of you put each other over the top. It right. just kind of yeah. happened. Because, you know, like looking back in 10th grade, you know, we, we played good together in 10th grade. So, like, it was kind of like, it kind of just fell into place, really. Yeah. So and and then once you guys both decided that's where you're going, did you start? What, what was the conversation then? Just, you know, we. Uh, I'm going to be better than you. <laughs> Turn it. Uh, yeah, make it up right here. But uh, really, just you know, I just ready for next year. Really, we ready for college just because for one, freedom. And two, <laughs> you can do like, like when it comes to the gym, you can do whatever you want. Like now, I have to wait for my gym to be open. Right. Specific days. Right. But at college, you know, like on our visit, <laughs> yeah, right. we stayed up till one because we were at the gym. Mm -hmm. yeah. So uh, we, we just ready for that because we uh, we love being in the gym. I mean, yeah. we're not really party guys. So, like on our visit, we we was in the gym. Like, Y'all want to visit together? Yeah, I was together. We went on a visit together. OV? Yeah, yeah. uh huh. Oh, wow. uh, we was in the gym. You know, a lot of people like party and stuff on yeah. this visit. We, yeah. uh, we was actually in the gym. It was, so, it was cool though. So I mean, the mission obviously it sounds like is to put Charlotte back on the map. Yeah, right. right. Yeah, definitely. I mean, how do, how do you guys do that? Uh, just take it take it a day at a time. I say, just keep working hard. And then once we get there, I know Coach uh, Sanchez and the coaching staff. Mm -hmm. I know they have a plan for us really. So. It's a process, but yeah. I feel like it's going to be a fast process. Yeah, fast yeah. process too. What number are you going to wear, Russ? You wearing three? I'm, I'm, I'm either going to wear... 34? That's retired. That's retired. Oh, it's retired. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna, that's his dad's number. Yeah. I'm going to wear three, six, or 14. Bless you. I'm going to probably either wear uh, 11, 25, or probably zero or something like Do that. Do any of those numbers have any significance to you guys? To why you would wear them? Well, 25, uh, that's, my, that's the day I was born. And um, 11, that's just like a, a big hard number to me. So, okay, so all right, all right. Uh, three, three so is, yeah, my favorite player at one time, at one point was Dwayne Wade. Yeah. So that's why three, six, LeBron, and then my AAU where I had the breakout season, that's where I, I played in that number. So it's a good memory. And then 14, <laughs> 14 is what I started with. I always wanted to play my dad's team. But I, I just remember, you know, years ago when uh, Patino and those guys would come to Charlotte, you probably a little kid, and the place was packed, Halton was packed, and it was loud, and the right. Niners yeah. were winning 20 games, and Bobby Lewis was coaching. Yeah. That was such a great experience, man. Yeah. And, and I want to see that place like that again. Right. Yeah, you know, sir. That kind of, do you guys ever talk about that? Yeah. I don't want to play no with the gym. Right. <laughs> yeah, that's what I, I, I was thinking about that, too. I, that's what I really want to do, too. Start, uh, Blessing to see. Yeah, building the fan base up and back again. Yeah. yeah. I mean, Charlotte, Charlotte's a beautiful camp. I mean, I don't yeah, think people really. realize if you haven't been out there in a long right. time. And the arena is big, too. The arena is big. Nice yeah, too. It's, it's, so if you can get that place packed out, yeah, that, that's, that's they a have, big step forward. They have one of the largest uh, alumni bases in the area. There's right. There's people here. They just need, they need a reason to come out. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And that's that's you guys' wish. Yeah, once you start winning games, that's what we're like. But tell me about this, this school year, um, Bryce. I know you, you guys in a really tough conference, the IMAX and Hopewell. You, know, you got the North Max and the West Charlotte of the world over there. How, how can you guys make some noise in that conference and you know, make a playoff run? Right now, we just have to learn how to mesh, mesh together and learn how to play basketball. Um, I mean, we're taking, like Caleb said, we're taking it a day at a time with yeah. Hopewell, too. Yeah. But it's just playing smart. I'm trying to be a leader on and off the court. Yeah. Have you guys had some injuries this year? Yeah. What happened? I didn't play the first four games due to a foot, a right foot injury. And okay. um, our point guards have been, they've been in and out every other game, so. Is everybody getting healthy now? No. No? <laughs> <laughs> I wish, but no. So maybe by conference tournament, you think? No, all year long it's going to be like this. All year long it's going to be up and down. Uh, well, not for me, but. Yeah, for the team. I got you. But Caleb, you're in a totally different situation. Yeah. You guys are were nationally ranked. I know yeah. you lost down at, at Beach Ball and uh, Wendell Moore, your teammate, told me. 
the Scott County celebrated like they want to see. Right, yeah. Everybody <laughs> everybody wants to beat y'all. You yeah. got a chance to make history to uh -huh. win three straight state, state three eight, uh, titles. Yeah. Can you do it with all that pressure? Yeah, I think we can do it. Yeah, it's possible. Uh, I think I, I think we can do it. I think we have a very good chance of doing it. If we just keep playing, we just keep playing as a team, you know, I think we can do it. How much pressure is there? Um, I don't think it's no pressure. Because, you know, at the end of the day, it's just basketball. So, I don't think it's no pressure. Especially for me, I, I, yeah, I just don't think it's any pressure. So, you enjoy those games like last year when they hit a three-pointer and the dude stepped out of bounds. Oh, yeah. You know, I mean, you enjoy those Yeah, I like that. I, I, like, I like those type of games. Yeah, I love those type of games. Versus the 80 to 50 games. Right, yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. I'd rather have those type of games like that. You got a lot of 80 to 50 games left. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, until playoffs. What do you guys gonna remember most uh, about your, the first price about your high school career? You know, the summertime stuff. What are you gonna remember the most as you get ready to go to Charlotte? All the work I put in, all the times I cried, wanting to be better, wanting to try to better somebody else. Just that, because that's the, that like, everybody says the journey is what's important, and that was the journey. Okay. I mean, the journey's still I'm going, sorry. but. Um, I just. Really, the friendships that I had in high school, I'm, of course I'm going to keep them, but yeah, just the friendships and definitely all the work I put in, I'm, I'm going to really just keep going and build off of that, all that all the work I just put in. Just keep building off of that. And Charlotte's going to determine how many years from now? Uh, Hopefully next year. One year, he says. One Ron year. Sanchez, no pressure. <laughs> no pressure. One year. Right. One year. All right, 49ers fans. Yes, this sir. is the future program. Appreciate it, fellas. Yes, sir. Appreciate it. All right, y'all. That was easy, right? Yeah.